Welcome back to Star Trek Nitpickers, everybody. I'm your host, Commander Corbo, and here's your co-host, Lieutenant William. Thanks a lot, Commander Corbo, and welcome back to Star Trek Nitpickers, everybody. So today we're discussing five new theories about the plot of the upcoming Star Trek Picard show. We're discussing this because since the first three episodes were viewed by a small number of people at the Hollywood premiere, I've been hearing more and more that all the theories are wrong. So here are my top five new theories. At least I hope they're new. I just cooked them up as far as I know. So counting down, number five. The mysterious young woman known as Dodge is Sila's child, Tashi Yar's granddaughter, also, unfortunately, a Romulan spy who has had her memory temporarily erased and her features surgically altered to look human. This would explain the line about her not having any idea what she truly is. She's a Manichurian candidate, but Picard sees the good in her. Okay, theory number four. Starfleet Command will tell the press that Romulans took control of the so-called rogue synths and attacked Mars, but Picard will learn the synths were programmed to attack by overly militaristic Starfleet admirals in an effort to build support for a war with the remaining Romulans. An unnecessary war. The synths will develop consciousness, though, and Hugh will be called in by Picard to help them adjust to individuality, thwarting the unnecessary war. Okay, theory number three. I know there's a popular theory about the mysterious girl, Dodge, being the daughter of Picard and the Borg Queen, but what if Dodge is the daughter of Picard and a prominent Romulan? If her identity is revealed, it could have drastic consequences, perhaps even starting a war. Perhaps when Laris says to Picard, we still remember what you did, she is talking about him sending his baby to live with someone else. Perhaps he did it for her own safety. Perhaps when Picard is musing about how the best legacy is honesty in the new clip that came out, he's thinking about telling the world he had a child with a Romulan. Perhaps a very unpopular Romulan. Maybe he didn't know he had a child until she showed up. Okay, this theory is similar to theory number five, but there are some interesting differences. So here we go, theory number two. Dodge starts to recover her memories and realizes she was assimilated by the Borg, but somehow her Borg implants were removed, like Seven of Nine. What she doesn't realize is that there's still nanotech in her brain, sending info to the Borg and waiting for the right moment to use her as a weapon. She's a Borg spy, and she doesn't even know it. Okay, so here's my favorite theory, theory number one. The Borg Queen has given up on assimilating every worthy species in the universe. Let's face it, it was way too ambitious a plan to begin with, and now she wishes to be human. In Star Trek First Contact, we learn the Borg Queen was basically sort of lonely when she created Locutus, and also sort of intrigued by human beings. Is it so hard to imagine she might decide to find another way of getting close to Picard, the great love of her life, possibly by creating a Borg that's mostly human? The reason Dodge is the destroyer and the end of everything is she is a new kind of Borg that is designed to assimilate into other cultures rather than to assimilate them into the collective. The billions of Borg drones who suddenly found themselves like Hugh and his followers did would all need a lot of help, somewhere to go, something to eat. They would be refugees. And Patrick Stewart has been vocal about advocating for helping refugees around the world in real life. So that's why this is theory number one. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you like this video. Hit the bell if you'd like to get notifications about our next videos. And please, share this video and leave a comment. Also, live long and prosper.